Hey there, my fellow designers and creatives. Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to another video in my Lottie Files course for designers. In this video, we're going to learn how to import Lottie animations into Figma and After Effects itself. Maybe you found a Lottie animation online and you want to uh, see how it was recreated or you want to edit it or something like that. Let's see how to go ahead and import that into After Effects. Now, the first thing you want to do is obviously find the animation that you see online. And in this case, I'm going to take this and I am going to come over here to the info section. Actually, not the info section. Uh, I think it was in the embed section over here. And uh, obviously turn on enable asset link. And I am going to go ahead and click on this to copy the asset link. Okay. Then you want to go into After Effects and here I'm in After Effects and what you want to do is you want to go to Window, Extensions and you want to choose Body Movin'. Now Body Movin' again is another plugin like Lottie Files but I'm going to leave a link down below in the description for you to install Body Movin'. It's, uh, it's free to use. Uh, just follow the steps and you're going to get the Body Movin' plugin. And then you want to click on that and it's going to open up the Body Movin' plugin. What you want to do is you want to come here to the tab that says import Lottie animations and then you want to go ahead and paste that and then you want to say import from URL or also you can import it from the local file so you can upload the JSON file and then you can import that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and it's going to do its thing. It's obviously going to take a couple of seconds and I'm going to obviously resume the video once the animation has been imported. Okay, once it's imported, I can go ahead and close this up and here we have the composition, uh, which doesn't seem to have any uh, thing. So I'm going to click here into the composition, the shapes animation. And as you can see, the animation is just created over here and uh, it looks uh, pretty cool, right? Uh, this is the animation that we see over here and uh, it looks uh, super nice, right? It looks perfect, right? So we took the Lottie animation and then converted that into the After Effects file, as you see over here. All right. Up next, we're going to go do this in Figma. So you obviously you want to go to the community section and you want to search for the Lottie Files plugin and you're going to run the plugin and uh, we're going to get the plugin and you're going to see your plugin. Obviously, you're probably going to have to um, uh, log in and create an account and all of those things. But once you do that, you can come here to the workspaces and here in your workspace, you can see all your animations. Um, and in this case, let's say we want the sunglasses animation, or maybe let's just take the crit animation. That that would be pretty uh, interesting. I'm going to choose um, this one, the original one that I made. You can click on that. And uh, as you can see, it's going to show you everything. Actually, I don't want this one. I want... Um, uh, let me let me actually pick this one, right? This I think this is this is interesting. There you go. Now you can import a particular frame as an SVG, or you can import it as a GIF file, which I think GIF file is probably what you would uh, want. Um, and then obviously you could go ahead and change this to status. You can copy the link, open the animation, and do all those things. Um, but you can also go ahead and import the animation as well. So you can come over here and click on browse. And I'm going to go ahead and choose uh, the one that we made, which is. Uh, yeah, I, th I think it's uh, yep, this one. Let's go for this one and we'll click on open. And then we're going to get this animation uh, that I imported. And then I'm going to go ahead and say convert to GIF. And that's going to take its time and convert it and then import that into Figma. And then you want to say add to Figma. And uh, if I move this over, you can see that the animation is over here. And if you obviously see it's a GIF and you can go ahead and play this up. If you see, you know, if you want to set like a frame uh, and then obviously put it into whatever frame you want. Um, in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go back to the workspaces over here. And I'm going to add a background color and make this completely black. All right, as you can see. And uh, I don't know why you can't see the background color. But anyway, I'm going to come down here to the workspaces. And let me see if I can get it from there. All right, I'm going to get V2, um, add a background color. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and say convert uh, to GIF. I'm going to delete this one. And then I'm going to say convert to GIF and that's going to do its thing. Okay, I'm going to add that to Figma and it's going to go and add this over here. And so what we can do is let's say we want to render this out on a iPhone 10 frame, 375 by 812. I'm going to make this black as well. And then we're going to put this over here in the center. There we go. And of course, we can go ahead and prototype this. So let's open this up in a different tab so that we can preview this. And as you can see over here, it goes ahead and uh, plays the animation. This is basically the Lottie animation. It's rendering it out as a GIF. So you can mirror this on your phone. You can do whatever you want. And uh, it's uh, going to work. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comment sections down below. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more amazing, awesome content. And I'll see you guys in my next video. So till then, take care and bye-bye.